you can tell how long a person gonna have in this game just by listening to their second single, not the first one. The second one, yeah, we all know the motherfucking first song is a hit, but what this second one gonna be about? That's what I look at. You can come here all day long, man, I'm the hottest motherfucker cookie out this motherfucker. <laughs> I'm the hottest cookie. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm hip to this. Yeah, the cookie, I heard this motherfucker every day. Yeah, that's them oatmeal ones, but let me hear what this fuck this chocolate chip gonna say next. If you don't come with some chocolate chips, Man, I don't want to eat no more fucking oatmeal cookies, nigga. I done had that. Man, let me taste this fucking chocolate chip. Though. You got some raisins in that motherfucker or something. I don't even want that cookie no more because I done had it. You see what I'm saying? I done had it. What's, what, what's next? So, I mean, that's what I'm trying to tell you right now about the music you got. Man, try to find varieties of music because at the end of the day, man, somebody gonna like something you saying. It's millions of fucking people out here. So people gonna like something that you saying, but if you keep got the same sound, man, you gonna tie these motherfuckers out. Cool. <laughs> you gonna tie them out. They ain't gonna wanna hear that shit no more. I ain't gonna even lie, man, I like T-Pain. I like T-Pain, man, you know? Yeah. Man, weird dude, but man, most weird dudes got it. I mean, but he gonna come with somebody. He can go over here from the street, then he can take you over here to a booty uh, shaking, he could take you to Miami on some techno shit. Yeah. And then she tell you, we done sat in this nigga house and heard all this shit. Yeah. This nigga was playing. But that's an artist. He can give, he can go anywhere. He can go anywhere. This is like me, when I first started as a comic, I did all hood jokes. But when these motherfuckers took me to the improv, I was like, fuck, it's all white people on this motherfucker. <laughs> but at the end of the day, if you're gonna be an artist, you're gonna have to know how to participate with everybody because what about when you go on your tour? Mm -hmm. And you got all techno motherfuckers in there. What you gonna do then? These motherfuckers just gonna be looking at you. Like, but what time this nigga going off? Mm -hmm. Now, that's gonna fuck up your ego like, damn, I ain't really hot no more. <laughs> or that's gonna make you going back in the studio now, focusing on writing some bullshit. It's not all about rapping. That's why it's millions of rappers out here, but man, out of a million, 15 make it. Cause you have to be smart. You come to me and you want me to hear this, you, come on dog. I mean, I, I'm dealing with no limit. So you gonna have to come with something. You gonna have to come with something. I can't even sit there with P and say, P, listen to this. That nigga P, man, come on, that shit is bullshit, dog. Man, let's see what the streets got to say about this nigga. I mean, you, you got to come with something different. You got to come with something different, man. You got to come with something, man, people gonna be able to really vibe to on your shit, man. I mean, for millions to vibe to. Cause we trying to sell millions. We ain't trying to sell just the niggas in your neighborhood. Cause nine times out of 10, them the niggas gonna be trying to roll with you for free. Mm -hmm. Dog, where you gonna be at? You got me on the list? <laughs> on the list? Nigga, I'm trying to eat, nigga. You know I can't get this list to the fucking rent company. Hey man, you got your rent money? Nah, but you go to the list. <laughs> <laughs> this list of motherfuckers that fuck with me. Yeah, well, I hope that list give you $15 to match up to your fucking rent. So I, I'm telling you right now, man, you got to learn how to make music for millions, man. Man, y'all got to study. This shit is homework. You got to really study and sit down. It ain't really, really about turning on a track and writing to it. To be honest with you, man, y'all can't even allow yourself to get on anybody's track. If you really respect yourself and, and really look at your craft as being on top, you can't allow yourself just to jump on any fucking body's track. Cause it's free. No. You gotta look at yourself as being here. Nigga, I'm already the shit. Man, I don't want that shit. Give me something else. I'm telling you, because you allow yourself to get on anybody's fucking track. I'm this motherfucker, man. You bringing down your values and your standards. I'm just being honest with y'all. Can't allow yourself to do a lot of these fucking shows out of this motherfucker, any kind of fucking show. And the main thing, man, we had a problem with, man, man, I'm just saying, man, I understand everybody get their weed on, but dude, just make sure, man, you you handle your weed and your weed ain't handling you. Cause that may fuck up your opportunity too, from a nigga don't wanna fuck with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't wanna fuck with you if your weed control you. Cause that mean, even if I take this person and try to invest a dollar in this person, I'm investing my dollar into his weed habit. You in the studio writing some bullshit, 
Wait a minute now, this dude ain't even serious, man. This dude ain't serious. So I mean, you know, it's cool to get your smoke on, get your drink on, but make sure you can do it, man, on a level to where, man, this shit ain't controlling you and shit. Because at the end of the day, man, a nigga might not want to fuck with you. I'm telling y'all, that's some true shit. I'm just telling y'all. That's some real shit, man. Because I'm going to tell you, as soon as you pop and you blow, man, with your music shit, these niggas going to introduce you to some new shit. Some new shit that's going to have, that's going to take your money. And have you doing some crazy shit out this motherfucker. I ain't talking about, man, fucking with your lungs no more. I'm talking about fucking with your nose and all this shit. You ain't got no nose, hairs, or nothing. Your shit gone. Yeah, white that girl. motherfucking white girl. That white bitch, a motherfucker. Niggas trying to get your money. They ain't trying to get you how to fuck with your own friends. They trying to get your money. We, yeah, okay, yeah, fuck that little bag money. Nigga, mm -hmm. we trying to get this nigga on this white bitch over here. So we can really get in this pocket. Mm -hmm. So all this shit mentally, man, that's why spots like this, man, y'all really need to be here because y'all getting inside shit to where y'all need to have in this industry. Real shit y'all need to have. Not no water down shit. Like, hey, okay. So look, get your song together and yeah, you're gonna be. No, I'm gonna tell you real shit. Cause I'm tired of seeing my real niggas get fucked around. 